day 30 on my uncommon account. We are making some serious moves. I just want to know where you guys think you're supposed to be at day 30. This is my third six star. We've gone through two CVCs. I just got high Katoon at a 30 day login, which means now I have an aura, a speed aura plus 30% additional speed buff for my heroes. Everything seems to be flying by. We've upgraded the mine three times, so we're always getting a daily regen for that. It takes 100 days to recoup that fully. So we've done that three times. That's 1,500 gems we've used for that. Now we just made a new six star, and it's Spy Master. This rare is unbelievable. I needed somebody strong. Now I've got Spy Master on my team. Hi, Katoon. We can fuse Broad Mall tomorrow once the Void Keep opens up. I mean, where do you think people are supposed to be at 30 days? I think three 60s is good. We've got two fully mastered. This guy, I'm going to have to run through Minotaur Keep, which is going to take a while. To run through Minotaur, we can get rare books now in the clan shop if we really wanted to. If I get another rare, I'm going to have to get some from there because I don't feel like I get rare books from anywhere else. But they're 100 clan clan token so it's not that bad i feel like it's good but you guys let me know at 30 days what do you think is it or or what do you think should be for most games most games that have been out for three years like this game do you think that it's okay that we make three 60s and that's because of two cvcs that have really helped us out all those three star chickens one four star from each of those plus we get a five star chicken from doing our advanced quests that's what we just used right now for Spy Master. Is it okay at 30 days to only have three 60s, two of them mastered? We've got to go farm minnow, which, man, I don't feel good about that. I feel bad, or I feel like, look, it's really hard now because I have to split up my energy between making new 60s, going to farm Dragon 13 or higher for five and six star gear, and then going to Minotaur to get masteries. And I don't want to farm anymore. I'm tired of making six stars. But I feel like if I don't keep making six stars, my account will fall behind. Because we need so many different heroes in this game. And I can't just go farm every day at Dragon 13, 14, 15. Whatever I can make it up to. I can't just do that every day, all day long. And it is good to have different areas to go to when we get tired of grinding. But I'm only on stage one of Doom Tower. I can't do... The Hydra boss. Nobody can do the Hydra boss at 30 days. You know, we're doing okay on the clam boss. I just, you know, I think that's the biggest thing with me in raid is I hate making food all the time. And I hate having to go just farm 12-3 over and over and over. And you know I especially hate Minotaur. But if I wasn't doing Minotaur, if I wasn't making food, what would I be doing? I guess just farming for gear, having some fun in PvP, tag team arena doing all of that let's jump over to my main account so we can see where we're at this is from yesterday day 30 level 46 and then here's my roster we still have our outlaw monk in an amazing relentless set decent speed now with the speed aura from her along with the speed boost we're definitely going to be over 200 speed for both of these heroes here so we can get two turns in on the dragon which means with our war master procs and poisons the dragon's going to be very easy to beat much much easier because before i was right under 200 speed so i wasn't always getting two turns to the dragons one this makes it much easier plus it makes it easier going through waves shrugging off debuffs before we get hit applying more debuffs to the enemy just all around this is amazing now i did pull apothecary on this account when i first started but as you know we can't play those kind of rares the only rares we can play are ones we get ones that we earn from doing fusions only fusions in the game, like fusion events, not fusions that are actually in the game permanently. So the next fusion that comes up, I think, is a fragment fusion for the legendary only. The St. Patrick's one. So I don't think there are going to be any rares or epics for me to get. And I very <laughs> highly doubt I'm going to be able to get that legendary. If I can get that Lego, then we're okay to play him. This makes it so that we're still fielding a lot of uncommons. Because my main team right now is still one uncommon, two uncommon, and three uncommon along with this rare that we just did spy master is insane for a rare and then now we have her and of course tomorrow we can make broad maw but even still broad maw gives us a speed increase so i'm not going to necessarily play broad maw and high cartoon together unless i really need to push past some content but they i just don't think they would gel well together they would they would be okay but i don't believe i need that i think with enough lifesteal gear 
we're okay to get through the waves. It's just all about the boss. And if I have Broadmaw in there bringing somebody back to life, if it makes if it makes a difference, you know, we'll, we'll use Broadmaw if it makes a difference. I can't fuse that till tomorrow because I need to get some more void pots right here for these two. But this is what we need to fuse Broadmaw. That's it. So everybody who's on their 30-day old account should have High Katoon and Broadmall ready to go if you're playing a brand new free-to-play. I mean, that looks like the way. Plus, we've been beating Dragon 13 to get 5 and 6 star gear. That's also the way. I know I'm repeating myself from earlier in this video, but it seems like it's really good progress to do it all in that fashion. And I've been finding some really good gear in here. I don't know why, but I just, you know, if you look enough, you'll find some good gear. Some speed gear with some speed substats, some lifesteal gear with some good substats there. It's been working out fairly well, and I do need some lifesteal gear. So again, going back to the dilemma of what should I be focusing on now, what do I really want to focus on right now? It's hard because I want to make more six stars. I don't know who I would take to 60 next. I'm not going to take High Katoon or Broadmaw to 60 because I feel like they are great at 50. They can do everything they need to do at 50. This is what I wanted to do with you, though. We need one book right here. Okay, let's go. One book right there is all we need. And we've got all of these. But look, Haikatoon has a godly amount of five in her A1. And then quite a few, like five more over here. But just that one. Just this one on the A2. So we always get that turn meter boost and speed increase buff for our whole entire team. Please, please. No, it went into A3. Okay, okay, it's all right. That's not bad. Let's go, let's go. It went into A2. Jeez. This could take, I mean, I could really use all of these. No, no, no. We still have enough to, to hit it. We do have enough to absolutely hit it. I, I'm assuming this is a 33% chance, right? To go into one of these. It can't be that difficult. God, golly. It can't be that difficult. Come on. There it is. There it is. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm good with that. We got it. We are very, we're, we're much stronger. So much stronger now having that. And this isn't bad either, but the turn meter reduction here is so small of 15%. It doesn't even matter. We could lower that to a, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this for, I don't know, but I'm going to keep it because I don't, it's going to, it's hard to get Epic books on a free to play account, especially with what I'm rolling with. So I'm just going to play it safe and we'll keep those for another day. It's just that you can't really, you can't like level up heroes in Dragon because I'm not that strong just to go in there with a few heroes and then throw fodder food in there. I can't even level up heroes in here because if you put extra heroes in, they can't, uh, they'll get scrolls like other heroes. These two are maxed out on scrolls. So me bringing in this three is fine because all the scrolls will go to Spy Master, but I can't bring in others. I think we can go to a next higher one. Let's see, this This next one is pretty difficult because it's Force Affinity. Let's see if we can beat this. I would like to bring High Katoon in here. I could bring her in. If this is difficult, we'll bring her in to get past this Force area. And then maybe the next area is easier. Because then my War Chanter in the lead will have a better shot at helping us out there. It might be Force. Or if we can go with the Magic one would be best. Yeah, my War Chanters is getting decimated here. And I don't think my other ones are strong enough to really make it through. He's dead already. I don't think we're going to make it past wave two. We don't have any regen set on these two. Well, with War Tanter, we do. So he always stays alive when he AoEs, comes back, and, and does a lot of damage and gets all that health back. But here, uh, maybe. I don't think so. I think right here, we're going to get Zargala. Everybody's going to start. Yeah, we're dead. And do we have an AoE? Oh man, it's done. Yeah, we're definitely done. Okay, I'll bring in I'll bring in some other team to get through here just so we can go to the next area. That's it, everyone. I just wanted to update you on where I'm at on day 30 and get your idea of what you think day 30 is good. What kind of progression account should be at day 30 on a free-to-play. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate your time, your support. I will see you all on a video soon.